Okay, guys. So, I am back with another unboxing video. And, yes, this one is going to be for May's unboxing. Like, an early unboxing for May. I'm probably going to do, like, one or two unboxings for early May unboxing. So, anyway, it's going to be another My Little Pony related. I bought this one last week. I don't have this character in the plush videos yet, which I will do it shortly after like whenever I get around to it. But anyway, let's go and let's go ahead. I'm sorry if I mispronouncing my words, but let's go and let's go ahead and see what who it is. There we go. In three, two, one. Okay, guys. Pinkie Pie is here, and yes, it's her sitting down, like, in a sitting post. Pretty cool, but let's go ahead and take the tack off of her and see what she looks like without the tack on, then we will review it. And yes, this is Toy Factory, by the way, but anyway, let's go ahead and take the tack off. And yes, it's four inches and anyway, guys, this plush review and unboxing, unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So today was a crazy day. Um, what was crazy? So I went to my post office today, like a few hours ago. They told me somebody damaged, um, like, the mailboxes, like, someone used a crowbar, I was like, what, and I thought my packages were damaged, and luckily, luck, luckily, my Twilight Sparkle plushie is okay, so is the comic book I'm going to probably review, like, some point by tonight, so yeah, um, this is Toy Factory, and this one is 9 inches, the Cine Plush. Um, bought this last week. Um, need to finish on the plush video that I'm filming on Twilight Sparkle. But anyway, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she looks like without the, without the tag on. And 3, 2, 1. Here's the tag. It has... Twilight Sparkle and Pinkie Pie on it, and this plush review is gonna get a hundred out of a hundred. Like, comment, subscribe. So a few hours ago, I said I was going to do another unboxing, and yes, that unboxing from a few hours ago and the one from four days ago will be part of May's unboxing. So is this one. Um, yes, uh. Is the comic book I told you guys about in that Twilight Sparkle plush review video I made a few hours ago. So, here it is in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. So, you see this little part right here? That's damaged. But it's just paperback. But yes, we got the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Omnibus, Omnibus, Volume 8. I think this released last August. Some people said, or in my opinion, it's kind of like a tie-in after the series finale of Friendship is Magic. But anyway, guys, I'm going to re read it off camera and give it a review in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so this unboxing and Review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I mean, look at how huge the book is. Like, see, it's just like the invisible one I reviewed last October, the first volume of the invincible of invincible. But anyway, guys, this unboxing and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Like, comment, subscribe. And before I end the video, I bought this three days ago. But still, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. Um, 
I forgot to tell you guys from those videos from this morning, I was going to do another unboxing. It's on the basic series 146 Kevin Owens. Um, saw this on Amazon like three, about three days ago. And I was like, I don't mind having this one in my collection because to be honest, this is my second Kevin Owens figure. Uh, but yes, in the series, you can get Roman Reigns, Shayna Baszler, Brett the Hitman Hart, and Giovanni Vinci. Now, it's been like four years since Kevin Owens had a basic figurine. So yeah, um, anyway, let's go ahead and get him out of the package and review him in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys, here he is out of the packaging, and yes, his attire is based on WrestleMania 39, where him and Sami Zayn won the tag belts from the Usos. Pretty cool tattoos, but yeah, um, and yes, I did watch WrestleMania Night 2 with him, Randy Orton, and Logan Paul, but again, who I did not expect to be there was I show speed. But anyway, guys, this unboxing and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another April review for the rest of April, which, um, if y'all didn't see my video yesterday that I forgot to do a second April unboxing compilation, which I'll try to get it done if I can this week. But anyway, happy Tuesday. And yes, y'all know what it is. It is the John Cena My Life DVD. Um, this released on DVD about 17 years ago? Let me look at it again. Yeah, 2007. 17 years ago. Um, yeah, so, what's weird what WWE did, they only, like, made their DVDs into paper cases, but not anymore. So, yeah, here's the front the side, the back, and yes, what's really cool, it comes like this, and here's a pretty cool picture of John Cena, which is just the booklet, but anyway guys, let's go ahead and give this a review in 3, 2, 1, alrighty guys, this review and, um, well, kind of a bit of an unboxing is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. And yes, I know some of y'all are going to be wondering, how long have I had this DVD for? I want to say probably about, like, May over a year ago. But anyway, guys, um, but anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and happy birthday, John Cena. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys. So we got another DVD review here. This one is My Hero Academia Season 2 Part 1. Um, yes, I know Season 2 is on Netflix. It's been on Netflix since a month ago. And I just want to review it for you guys on DVD because... I got this at a pawn shop about a year ago. And yes, you can see All Might is on the cover. The side. Back. The side again. And the cover is like the sleeve cover. And the same thing. With the back two and the side comparison. So yeah, let's see what we got in here. 
and three, two, one. We got episode 14 through 19 and episode 20 through 25. And this review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another taste test video. And yes, again, this is for April's second unboxing compilation. And yeah, I found this at Walmart yesterday. And happy Wednesday. So yes, um, it is the Prime Lemonade Prime Hydration Drink Lemonade Flavor. Um, I did do a taste test on the strawberry banana. <coughs> and now we're going to do the lemonade. Uh, I didn't want, I didn't expect to see this in Walmart yesterday because they only had glowberry, strawberry watermelon, and that and the others. Except for grape and orange, because they're really rare now. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and give it a taste test in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it does smell like, it does exactly smell like lemonade. So yeah, let's try it. Let's give it a review. Okay, guys, so this uh, taste test plus review is going to get a 95 out of 100. I mean, it tastes nothing like lemonade. More like, I want to say that Mountain Dew flavor they released back in 2014, where it was the exact same flavor. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys. So, yes, um, I know I got done with April's unboxings. Like, this is not for April's unboxing. Um, this is actually for May's. Um, I bought this at Walmart, like, last night. Um, it's called WWE Knuckle Crunchers by Mattel. Um, what are they? Uh, well, I want to say they kind of like WWE Rumblers, but they have, like, this clicking noise when you move their arms up and down. So, yeah, I just got John Cena in the series, and by the way, this is Series 1. You can get Seth Rollins, The Rock, and Roman Reigns, including the rebound ring with a Brock Lesnar. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and get this out of the package in three, two, one. Thanos snap. Okay, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. It comes with one accessory, and that is a lid. In a trash can, which which I I'm sorry I hold on wait a minute let me take a sip of my uh, Dr Pepper, which is blue. I don't know why it's blue, but yes. Um, here's the lid. I guess you could put like your money in here or probably candy, but. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Let's move it on to the, towards the side. Yep, so what I mean by clicking noise, it has that ratchet articulation. Um, the legs go this way and this way. The wrist does have a clicking noise too. So let's go ahead and give it a review in three, two, one. Okay, guys, so this unboxing is plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. There is a series two, which includes Seamus, Bobby Lashley, 
Cody Rhodes, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And this one is just including, like I said, Seth Rollins, which that's the one who I really want to get. Who I really want to get. Sorry, I'm still a little tired. The Rock and Roman Reigns. Which, the only one who I really want the most is Seth Rollins. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys. So, the moment y'all been waiting for, um, I'm just going to film the unboxing early, like, right now. And, because, you know, I've been up all night. Um, yes, this is still Series 1. We got Seth Rollins, or, like it said, like it says on the box, Seth freaking Rollins. So, yeah, um... Glad I got him. I picked him up from a different Walmart. But, um, yeah. Yesterday, um, so forgot to tell you guys, these are like $7.84 a piece. And yes, we already know who's in the series. The Rock, John Cena, and Roman Reigns. We already reviewed John Cena the other day. So, in this one, we are reviewing Seth freaking Rollins. So, let's go ahead and get him, uh, get him out of the box in 3, 2, 1. Oh wait, I pro uh, wait a minute, I didn't pause the video. In 3, 2, 1. I got the figurine out. And before um, I get the chair and a little... Whatever the other thing is, I am sorry if I sound groggy. I've been up all night. So, anyway, let's go ahead and continue in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. So, this chair right here took me five minutes to build. But let's go ahead and look at the accessory set freaking Rollins comes with. So, comes like this little weird blue thing right here. Looks like a spider web, like Spider-Man's. I'm not for sure. And you plug it in, and you take the figurine, and you just put it in his hand like that. Now, let's look at the figure itself. Okay, guys, so we all know the articulation. Have clicking. Sounds. I feel like it is like a McDonald's toy gimmick, but I can't put my finger, finger on it. But anyway, guys, this unboxing is going to get a... Uh, and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Um, but yes, there we are getting a third series, which will be featuring Dominic and Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles and John Cena. Series two, which I think I talked about, series two in the um, John the John Cena unboxing. We're getting a Cody Rhodes, Bobby Lashley, Steve Austin, and Sheamus. But anyway, guys. And I'm sorry, I've been up all night, like, editing stuff, but I will get some sleep after I do stuff on my gaming channel. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So, yes, um, I know it's not midnight right now because it's only 11... 21 right now yes so y'all saw my video this morning about the one i said i went shopping yesterday yep all you got two things that seth freaking rollins knuckle cruncher which i reviewed like this morning and this cool and cute alice angel plushie by Jax Pacific. Um, I thought these plushies and the toys, like the 
action figures won't be out till some point by August. Which, the action figures are $15 a piece. The plushie was $9.44. Which, I'm glad I got it. Uh, but, anyway, here she is with the tag on. And let's see what she looks like without the tag egg on. And three, two, one. I had to take a sip of my Mountain Dew. But let's go ahead and get the tag off of her hand. Okay, guys. So here's the Jack's Pacific tag, which, um... I don't know why they didn't include this with the Mario and Sonic plushies. And here's this one, which is made out of hard cardboard. And these are called the Bendy Heavenly Toys. Which I'm just going to call the title, title of the video, Jack Specific Bendy and the Ink Machine Heavenly Toys. Um, Alice Angel, A Angel, Alice... Ugh, I'm sorry, I cannot speak that well. Alice Angel plush review. But yes, by the way, the plush is going review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I mean, I don't like they didn't like stitched up her eyes because uh, they're just like printed on like the Toy Factory ones, like the My Little Pony ones. But anyway, this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, before I end the video, this is my third Alice Angel plush. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. So, first May unboxing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes, I know, um... I already filmed some of May's unboxings a couple weeks ago. The one from like three days ago, two days ago, or the ones from yesterday morning and the one from last night. And yes, I mean, the Seth freaking Rollins knuckle cruncher, I reviewed that one yesterday morning. The Alice Angel plush, I reviewed that one last night, 24 hours ago. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this out of the bag and see what it is. Yes, this is the one I've been wanting and for three years now. It is the um mask. Oh, Chaco. Um, yep, I bought this on Amazon, like, Saturday last week. And, I'm not gonna lie. I had to cancel this plush to be delivered here on the 1st of May. Which was really a pain in the butt. But let's go ahead and get her out of the bag in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. Um, yes, um, look at this. Brand new, and it looks like it wants to tear, but not exactly. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and take the tag off of her and see what she looks like without the tag on. In 3, 2, 1. Here is the tag. And, yes, it is made by Great Eastern Entertainment, which we already knew about that. And here she is. Um, yes, forgot to mention, this is the, this part right here is made out of plastic. The other materials are just fabric and all of that. I don't know why, why I paused the video and this unboxing and plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, I got a few more to do. I'm going to do like Happy Meal toy unwrappings because I haven't done that since like a year ago. 
and I'm getting back into it now. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. I am back with another unboxing video, and I bought this, like, a week ago from Better World Books. And can't wait to show you guys what it is. And, yes, I actually, um, bought another My Little Pony comic book. Wow. Um, this is called My Little Pony Te Ponytails featuring Rainbow Dash. Um, I bought this, like, it was used. Um, I know y'all are going to be saying in the comments, why did I bought a used comic book? Because a newer one like this is like $30. It was like $5. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and give it a review in 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, guys. And yes, I did read it while the video was paused. And yes, this is a this. Unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Now, yes, I think these um comics, the My Little Pony Ponytail comics, it's like each character have a their own comic, like Rainbow Dash here, Applejack, Rarity, Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, and Fluttershy. But anyway, guys, guys, I'm sorry, I just um got done um eating but anyway guys like comment subscribe hey guys i am back with another unwrapping video or unbagging i don't know anymore but yes um we got toy one which is captain america sam wilson and number two red hulk AKA General Ross. Um, yes, um, these toys just reminds me of the Mask Singer toys that McDonald's released last year. Um, and not to mention, we didn't have anything Marvel related since Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which was a year ago. And yeah, I'm excited to show you guys these. So let's go ahead and get these two out of the bag. And three, two, one. Okay, got Captain America out. And now Red Hulk. Ew. Here we go. Forgot to mention. These toys are just plushies, not action figures. Alrighty, guys. We are going to take a look at Captain America first, a.k.a. Sam Wilson, the old Falcon. Um, yeah, what's really weird, um, he's just, like, a little soft pillow plushie, the little, well, keychain, if you will. So yeah, there's Mr. Sam, I mean Sam Wilson for you. Now let's look at Red Hulk. Here is toy number two. The most one that a lot of people was upset about. Because basically the movie did the same thing with like how McDonald's spoilered Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and the Super Mario Brothers movie. So here he is. Um... It's just, he looks exactly like Hulk, but if he was red. And yeah, but let's go ahead and give these a review in 3, 2, 1. This unwrapping plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys. 
So I am back with another unwrapping plus review video for you guys. So we got number three and four, which is Falcon and Ruth. Now, yes, this is not Sam Wilson. I think his name is this new Falcon here is Joaquin Torres, Torres, George, George, I don't remember. But yes, um, I'm reviewing both of them at the same time, like I'm going to do with the other set, like the other toys. And yes, I got three Happy Meal boxes, so stay tuned for that shortly. So let's go ahead and get these two out of the bag in three, two, one. Okay, guys, so we're going to look at number three first, which is is Falcon, Joaquin Torres. Um, go let you guys know, I have not watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, this is a new character. He's the new Falcon because, you know, the old one is already Captain America. So, yeah. Um, I like the green and brown, but what I'm not too crazy about is the pattern like, the printing on, I wish they should, like, sew it up to feel the, the stitches. Now, let's get to number four. So, we are here with, no, sorry about that, a car drive past. Um, I didn't get the whole car driving, um, on video, I just heard a noise. So, yeah, uh, here is number four, Ruth. She looks exactly like Ronda Rousey a little bit. So let's go ahead, um, take a look at her. Boots, jeans, long brown hair. But the hanger clip, um, or hanger, why is it a lava pink? So let's go ahead and give it a review in three, two, one. Alrighty, guys, so th this unwrapping plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. And I'm sorry, guys, that a car kind of drive past, but I paused the video real quick because I heard a noise. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another... Captain America Brave New World Happy Meal Toy Unwrapping. So we are doing Toy 5, which is Diamondback. Did not mean to make her fall. And number 6, Shield. You know, Captain America's uh, famous Shield. So yes, um... I haven't, um... I forgot to film this video last night that y'all are watching right now because I was busy like cleaning and all of that. But yeah, um, I'm curious about this character. The one I'm not curious about is the shield because we would never, because I thought we would never have a shield in a plush form. So three, two, one, let's take them out. Okay, guys, here is Diamond Back out of her bag. Um, so I think her powers are throwing diamonds. I guess Rarity from My Little Pony will love her because, you know, diamonds and Rarity's cutie mark is a diamond. So, yeah. But to me, I feel like she looks exactly like Atom Eve from Invincible if she was in the Marvel Universe. So let's go ahead and take a look at number six in three, two, one. Alrighty, guys. Here is number six. I did not mean to drop that. So yeah, what's really cool, you get the shield front, but the back, a pattern of the logo. So yeah, um, to be honest, I think this one's going to be my favorite because I have waited to see a sh plushy shield from Captain America. And now, finally, we got one. Now, let's get this review started. In three, two, one. 
Okay, guys. So this unwrapping plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. Now, yes, the toy number six is my favorite because one is the shield. Because I have waited years to see a plush she of Captain America's shield. Like a plush version of Captain America's shield. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. So yeah, I know I'm supposed to do an unboxing like some point tonight, which right now it is 8.24 at night. So we got Toy 7, which is Captain America and Flight. And number 8, Red Wing. This one's pretty cool. So yeah, um, yes, we have reviewed the others, including in Toy 5 and 6 from last night. So I wanted to review these two right now before I do my main unboxing tonight. But let's go ahead and get these two unwrapped in 3, 2, 1. Got Captain America and Flight out of the bag. Now time to take Red Ring out of the bag in 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, here is number 7, Captain America and Flight. Look how big it is. The wings are really big. But, yeah, I don't know why they kind of messed that part up. But I like it. So let's get to number eight. And the final toy of the toy line. And three, two, one. Alrighty, guys. Last and not least, toy number eight is Red, Red Ring. Now, um, pretty cool. This one's going to be my favorite out of the set. Because it looks exactly like wings, but it looks like a jet too. Now let's give this a review in 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, guys. So this review and unwrapping is going to get 100 out of 100. And yes, toy number 8 is going to be my favorite one out of the set, just like toy number 6. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so back with another unboxing plus review video. Now, yes, I did make a unwrapping video, like, not that long ago. And, yeah, I ordered this from Bleacher Creatures, like, two weeks ago. And, uh, what's really weird, they were supposed to, I was supposed to unbox this two days ago. But, they never gave it to me two days ago. They gave it to me today. And, I'm excited for it. This. So, can't wait to show you guys what it is. It is the LA Knight. Corichia. Now, yes, I did do a, a review on the 10-inch Bleacher Creature plush like two months ago, and I just want to get the Corichia to display. Here he is. I know his hair is a little messed up, but I will fix that in 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, guys. Here he is out of the bag. Yes, again, this is the Korichia version. You know, the cute little chibi anime Japanese bleacher creatures they've been working on for 2019. Now, yes, um, like I said, I did review the actual LA Knight 10-inch plush like two months ago. Um, this is just for display. I'm not using it for a plush video or anything. But yes, this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. And yes, it is really storming outside. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah!